have come to Barton upon Sea. So we've crossed the ferry overnight and uh, we've come for a little look around, see if we can get some ear eocene, eocene, eocene gastropod shells and possibly some teeth. So yeah, uh, lovely car park, nice and empty. So yeah, let's go see if we can find some nice interesting stuff. Oh, what an absolutely gorgeous morning. Absolutely gorgeous morning at High Cliff. So the sun is shining. Some little clams. I can tell if these are <laughs> ancient or modern at the moment. So anyway, quite high up on the high cliff at the moment, just at the start. But yeah, looking for looking for little bits. This really looks like river gravels. But, uh, yeah, as soon as we start seeing partials, hopefully we'll be in the right area. Start looking a bit more detailed. It's lovely and dry, so it's uh, definitely easy to get access. But then, because it's been dry, there's likely not to be too much here. I think these are here seen shells. Let's see if we can find some gastropods. Gastropod, gastropod. Ah, first one. Little gastropod there. Oh, look at that. They're beautiful, aren't they? I think I'm going to really wish I'd brought bubble wrap. Lovely preservation on these things. This one in the bag, quite high up as well. Pretty high. So, yeah, keep looking. See if you find a few more. Oh, there's another just in there. Look at that. Oh, lost it. Oh, come back here. Don't think that's quite complete. Interesting find nonetheless. Little worm tubes look. Yeah. Worth just peeling this back a little bit just in case there's all hiding. Again, a little gastropod there. Small but nice. See how it just crumbles when it's uh, dried out like this look. That's the that's the bed. That's looking around here. Yeah. We think the sea. Want some of the bigger ones though, that's what we're after. Some nice big, big gastropods, not the little tiny ones. Yeah, let's keep looking. Oh, 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 another noise is to suggest I've found something very nice. Look at that. Oh, is it, it's a bit cracked. Ooh, it's there though, look at that. Wow, look at that gastropod. That's amazing. Not the best preserved, but it's good enough. Nice. A few more of those, please. Here we are. Chateau de Caen. <laughs> Une église de la Caen. It's pretty. Uh, it's got the gothic style, isn't it, with all the fancy bits, igglies. Oi. What have you? I mean, look at look at the twin towers over there. Wow. That's a it's proper pointy spears, spires. Alistair would be proud.
Yeah. You wouldn't like to uh, storm that with those walls, would you? Imagine if it was full of water in the bottom as well. Oh yeah. Be a... Water and sewage as it would be. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Big Chateau Cane. Ooh. It's one thing that can be relied upon in a convent. It's great cheese. And if you're wondering what the hell's going on, well, we've just come back from France and that's where we've been fossil hunting for the last three days. So, uh, if you've missed the videos, go back and check out the channel. This is some fantastic videos about fossil hunting in France. There we go, back to Barton. Quite complete that one, that's a shame. Quite nice though. I'll tell that anyway. But uh, yeah, finding a few little bits. Really, it's the big one still we're after. One in one reasonable one in the bag so far. Yeah, just uh, a very careful eye along these cliffs. Definitely plenty to see. Uh, definitely plenty. So yeah. Keep walking along this way and uh, hopefully one or two big ones will pop out. That's what we want. Could that be a good one? Oh yep, yeah. could be. Yeah, looks pretty good to me, does that one? Found a few of these now. These are probably the more boring type to be honest. But uh, still nice, still nice. Be a big one there. Top. Ooh, that's a shame, is it? Not quite got a top. Oh, shame. That's what we're looking for. Not good enough, that I'm afraid. It's a good spot to look, though. It's obviously been very, very wet and muddy, and now it's drying out. A treat. It's complete. A little one there. Well, it was a little one. I think this is part of it. Oh, nice one. Is it complete? Oh, yeah. No, it was. <laughs> no, a bit too delicate that one. Just a little too delicate that one. That's some pretty uh, skillful mud out there. I think that's meant to be Groot, uh, I think, and the penguin. Supposed to be finding fossils, so let's uh, carry on. It's the odd trace of some truly magnificent gastropods, but yeah, it's been well picked, I think. But I had a long ear. Somehow we got down to beach level. Need to go back up again a bit, I think. up on the dunes now and loads of material to look through and again not complete not complete a little one there that one's all there that's in there again not complete a little one there not really there yeah. lots and lots of littles not so many bigs Unfortunately, but yeah, finding the little ones, you'd hope we'd find the big ones at some point. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of not complete bits in this, unfortunately. You know, I think what happens is uh, basically this uh, this clay slowly slumps downhill, and then the rain just washes out the fossils. It's quite nice. Oh, that's a shame. No top on that one.
Yeah. Loads really. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Let's move on to the next patch. Ooh, very slippy. Down the knoll. Sometimes the best way you just see the, the tip poking out. It's like a slightly different one. That is a different one. So you just, you just come into a little patch of them. Shame, they're all really small. I don't mind collecting a few small ones, but it'd be nice to get a couple of dice, decent sized ones for the collection. They're lovely little shells, these means there must be some big ones somewhere must be all the lovely spines sticking out Certainly yeah, a good selection, even if they are a bit weeny. There's really plenty, plenty of these. There really is. I think I'm going to probably stop collecting these small ones in a minute and just really focus on the big ones. But, uh, yeah. Right, looking for more. I'm just heading back on the last little bit of the uh, the beach and uh, I've came across this, which is a lovely big gastropod. It's not quite fully complete, but it's nice enough for the shelf. Lovely. Okay, heading back now to lots and lots of the small stuff. A couple of okay sized ones. But uh, all still very pretty and nice, so yeah. Interesting few hours uh, looking for these uh, Eocene uh, gastropods. No teeth, no sign of any teeth, but I think you know, maybe you have to get down on your hands and knees for those. But, uh, Lovely detail on some of these. Uh, yeah, little bag full. Set back and give a clean. Yeah, 
we'll see what we got when we get home. Gorse bushes. Ow. Ooh. Brambles. Ow. Ooh. Don't know why I went this way. Or adventure. But uh, <laughs> yeah. The last little adventure. Ooh. Of this fossiline trip. So yeah. Uh, we're at the end of this adventure so if you've uh, stuck around and watched all the videos thank you very much for watching I hope you subscribed uh, if you want more fossiling content from around the world hopefully then uh, yeah definitely uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so uh, fantastic trip to France a nice uh, little round off with this little fossiling trip to uh, Barton upon Sea in High Cliff but uh, yeah that's all so I'll get the finds out and uh, washed and uh, a little video of what we've found on the, uh, the French expedition some lovely lovely Acanthropleurosaurus and a few other bits and pieces and uh, yeah that's it until uh, the next fossiling adventure yeah, see you soon bye for now ah, it's still a little bit hazy here at uh, High cliff, Barton upon sea, but uh, yeah, you can see the needles in the distance. Let me zoom in. You can see that or not? Yeah, Isle of Wight. That's maximum zoom. Wow. But yeah, probably about to see him a bit better if it was uh, less hazy. Christchurch over there, and beyond that there's Bournemouth.